Okay, so this question uh, 11 on the mock paper is talking about an isosceles triangle and so therefore we need to start thinking to ourselves what theories do we know about isosceles triangles, particularly as the question is saying give reasons. Um, well, the things we've got to remember about isosceles triangles are that two side lengths are the same but also the base lengths, uh, so the base angles are equal so it's really important we have that full language. So base angles in an isosceles triangle are equal. So we need to have the full language to get the full marks in the exam. So let's have a look, see what information we've got. So the task is to find the top angle of the triangle. Well again we should remember that angles in a triangle add up to 180. So if we knew what these bottom, ang the bottom angles are, the base angles, then that would help us get this final answer. Well we can see that they've told us an exterior angle here, so the outside of the triangle. And there is a theory that says that if we know two angles meet at a point on a straight line then they add up to 180 degrees so first sum we can do is 180 take away 106 um, 10 take away 6 is 4 7 so 74 degrees so we now know that that is 74 degrees um, because we said that base angles in isosceles triangle are equal we also know that that is 74 degrees so we've got angles in a triangle add up to 180 so 180 take away 74, take away 74. Well, to me, what I would do is I'd do 180, take away 70, so 110, take away 4, 106, take away 70 is 36, take away 4, 32. So it's going to be 32 degrees. Now we should check that by back adding, just to make sure it all worked. So let's have a look. 4 add 4 add 2 is 10, so carry the 1 over. 7 add 7 is 14, add the 3 is 17, add the 1 is 18. Yep, so the back check worked. So the answer here, 32 degrees. It does say give reasons. Now, the key word there is reasons. So we've had to use two, three theories here to get this right. It's worth four marks, this question. So we really ought to be writing down all the reasons. So the first reason is angle B C A equals 74 degrees angles on a straight line add up to 180 degrees. Now it's really important that you don't just say angles on a straight line equal 180 you've got to get that word, those words add up to so the examiners are looking for key language, so be careful. Um, we now know that we've got um, angle CBA is also 74 degrees, and um, we've already given the reason above, but um, sorry, we need the word base there. So base angles in an isosceles triangle are equal and then we can just say that angle X and we can say that we used angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees again it's really important uh, we use these words add up to don't say angles in a triangle equal 180, we've got to use those words add up to. So angles in a triangle are 180. So really important uh, with these kind of questions where they say give reasons or start questions, we use the full language for angle theories.